Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the 360 Minion Trucker channel. Uh, we actually recorded the next part of this video a few days ago, but uh, when we got home, the uh, internet was down. Uh, we called the guy to come out to fix it, but he didn't get it fixed in time before we left, and we live out in the country, so we don't get enough cell phone service to upload the videos, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and attach those to the uh, second half of this. This is, that was the load where we were hauling the um, uh, military uh, helicopter simulators. It was pretty cool. Uh, we couldn't film when we got on the base. Uh, you're not really supposed to film on the military bases, so um, we couldn't film when we backed them in uh, to set them up. But they weren't going to set them up that day anyway. Uh, we wound up spending about three and a half hours in the line to get the trailers washed uh, because they were just so backed up. And they do a really good wash on both the truck and trailer. And it takes about an hour to wash both of them. And there were three trucks in front of uh, me and in front of, um, um, what was his name? And the other driver, I can't remember his name right now. Neil. Neil, that was his name. Yeah, Neil. And um, so we wound up uh, delivering those about four o'clock in the afternoon, and we were supposed to be there by noon. Uh, so they, we, we of course called them and, and let them know. We kept giving them updates and everything. And they were cool with it. Said, "Ah, we're here until five anyway, so we'll be, uh, we'll be here. Uh, just do what you can and get here." But anyway, uh, no, I didn't get to play with the simulators. I wish I could have got inside to, to look at them, but of course it, we couldn't go inside. But uh, they look pretty cool. Um, and uh, these simulators, uh, it's nine uh, simulators total. And you'll see that it has nine doors on it. They can train these pilots uh, individually. Uh, run through the simulations. They can set up any scenario they want. All these guys can fly missions together on that simulator or against each other, whatever they want to do. They can set up, they told us they can set up any kind of simulation that, they, that you need. Uh, whether it be uh, wind, uh, like an updraft on a mountain, uh, which is very difficult to fly and keep a helicopter steady when you're flying on the updraft uh, side of the mountain. Uh, they can set up, you know, rain, heavy weather, fog, whatever, and of course any kind of combat simulation that you need. So they're pretty impressive. And uh, I, from what the guy told us, each half of that, each trailer, <laughs> costs about ten million dollars. So you're looking at a twenty million dollar simulator. And of course, we had to be very careful with these things. You had to run at 65, no faster. That's what the tires were rated at, was 65, so no faster than 65. <laughs> and um, and you really had to be careful. Anytime you make a turn or anything, they don't want any scratches or anything in these courses, you know, because they're real expensive. So you gotta be real careful making turns, where you back up, check the trailer real good in the morning, make sure somebody had scraped the trailer when you went in the truck stop or anything else, you know, and keep the truck locked up so and the keys with you so that no one comes to steal those you know. but anyway I hope you enjoy the video uh, it's uh, it's kind of short but uh, but that was a cool simulator uh, we're heading up to uh, Searcy Arkansas to pick up a trailer this morning that'll take us up by Chicago and um, that one pays pretty decent but the next two loads that I have are um, actually the Disney on Ice trailers. They're going like 16 miles um, from just outside of Chicago into Chicago. I gotta pick up two of those, and each one of those are paying $608 to move 16 miles. So. <laughs> I'm uh, real ecstatic about that. $1,200 just to go uh, 16 miles on each, you know, each one and back. So you're looking at less than a, a hundred miles for the day, and, uh, and that's 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 a good bit of pay, you know. 
and then I got another one after that that they're working on that's going to take me from Chicago down to Memphis. So all in all, total miles with this one running up to Chicago, which we're headed to pick up now, and the two Disney on Ice trailers and the one coming back down, we're looking at $2,600 uh, $2, for 1,900 miles. So not bad at all. And uh, this one had um, bobtail pay. I had a bobtail uh, out of Freeport, Texas to Searcy, which was 548 miles. So, so we're uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a, a good paycheck this week, and so is Philip, uh, uh, the guy that owns the truck. So we're we're gonna be real happy this week. All right. Well, I'll update you uh, when we get. Uh, Probably I'll update the next one when we're picking up the Disney on ice stuff. That's going to be pretty cool. All right. Y'all enjoy your day. All right. So we're here at the Little Sisters Truck Wash in Eloy, Arizona. And we got the trailers washed for the customer's um, request to have them washed before we deliver them. So they look really good. The and the truck. <laughs> hey, the truck looks black again, too. This is our other driver, Neil, over here. Uh, he got his wash too and uh, we're looking good we're just getting ready to go so I just want to take a quick video to show everybody the truck is actually black again thank God because <laughs> it was looking pretty gray it's a black truck yes back the color it's supposed to be Oh yeah. Yeah, cause see, he's got his doors open. I kind of figured it was. And then they, he's got his doors open. Hey, look, it looks like just like our can work. Yeah, he's a student. Uh huh. All right, everybody, we are here at the uh, Penal Air Park. We are. You see the planes uh, here Whoa. in front of us. Yeah, Whoa. there's a bunch of them. Whoa. So uh, we are going yeah, to the uh, Army Aviation, uh, the Army National Guard uh, uh, Aviation Training Facility over here, and uh, we're just about, I don't know, maybe less than two miles away, so uh, I just wanted to want y'all to see the airplanes, hopefully the sun is kind of in the way, so hopefully you're able to see that, so is your head. but I'll, uh, I'll update you again when we get closer to the, uh, the National Guard's uh, aviation training facility. 